Well, brr, that cold air has settled in. We're in the 40s this morning, struggling to even reach 50 the next few days. We've got our coldest air since the spring moving across Minnesota, and that means some places are seeing snowflakes. We'll tell you where and when they will again, perhaps, over the next couple of days. All the leaves are being lost. It's all signs of fall. We'll show you more about some migrating birds popping up on radar and all that weird weather yesterday. Well, a lot of people noticed the uh, kind of bizarre weather of yesterday, which isn't actually all that rare, pretty common in the fall and spring, especially where we get this rapid cooling of the atmosphere uh, and there's still some warmth and moisture around to get these clouds to pop up. Literally, as soon as we hit 60 degrees, you can see those clouds and showers pop up, which happened right around lunchtime yesterday. And uh, yeah, tall enough some of those cells to create a couple of little hail producers. Many of you saw some pea-sized hail, but another cool feature on the radar was watching the birds uh, migrate. You can see that sort of fuzzy blob that develops right at the beginning of the radar uh, or towards sunset. Those are migrating birds moving through and across the country, you can see radars light up about an hour after the sun sets. And those are mostly songbirds all in full migration towards Central and South America here for the winter. Another sign <laughs> that things are changing up here. Uh, today, we still have a lot of clouds left this morning. There are even a few sprinkles out there, but uh, I think it's mostly gonna be a morning chance for that. We'll zoom out here a little bit and you can see, yeah, all across Minnesota, there is just a ton of cloud cover still. Uh, so it is gonna be a mainly gray day today as we continue to cool off the atmosphere. There are a couple of sprinkles that are popping up coming in from the north. Everything's moving pretty much straight north to south. So hit and miss sprinkles through the morning. I think it'll be mostly dry this afternoon, but uh, can't rule out one or two sprinkles, but the better chance is gonna be this morning. I wanted to show you a, a station plot here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on here, but the thing to pay attention to is up around Grand Marais, these two purple stars. Those are snowflakes. Yeah, the Grand Marais Airport is reporting snow right now. So there you go. Uh, and that's going to be possible in northeastern Minnesota, not only today, but again, late Saturday with some cool temperatures. Uh, computer models show those sprinkles kind of moving through here this morning, and then the afternoon, they're mainly to our south. But uh, <clears throat> again, northeastern Minnesota up in the airhead could have a couple of flurries. We're not talking about measurable snow or anything crazy, but they are seeing some snowflakes. And we have a frost and freeze advisories across uh, much of southern Minnesota for places that haven't seen frost yet, which is most of the metro. Uh, it's going to be very close tonight into the 30s. In fact, uh, the urban heat island, oh, probably okay. Uh, you can see here in the models that uh, temperatures stay mostly in the 30s, but some of those outer suburbs, if you're in a place like Cottage Grove, Hastings, Blaine, uh, out towards Eden Prairie, you guys are gonna probably be right around freezing, if not a degree or two below, and uh, widespread 20s here across uh, northern Minnesota and into western Wisconsin. So pretty cold night tonight. We got a couple of those ahead before things start to warm up next week but uh, again that chance of some showers comes back in here Saturday and because of the pretty chilly temperatures in northeastern Minnesota there is going to be a couple of snowflakes possible we'll zoom in here you can see again mostly up into the arrowhead could see a few uh, light snow showers but again we're not talking accumulations in fact uh, if we put on <clears throat> snowfall totals break that old thing out we're talking about um, let's see here I gotta switch to that not used to going to that area here for this time of year. Uh, yeah, as we head into the Saturday night and Sunday, we're talking about maybe uh, a tenth or two of an inch of some snow for some spots in northeastern Minnesota, but this doesn't take into account, of course, the melting from the ground. So uh, unlikely to see any snowfall accumulations, but another chance of seeing some snowflakes. Uh, otherwise, we're talking about a chilly weekend, uh, struggling to reach 50 tomorrow and Saturday, but should see a little more sunshine tomorrow touch warmer Sunday, uh, but the warm up really gets going next week where we're back to above normal temperatures. should be in the mid to even upper 60s by Monday and Tuesday, and maybe another shot of warmth by late next week uh, where the models are pumping us up maybe into the 70s, so we'll keep our eye on that, but uh, hunker down for our coldest temperatures we've seen since uh, April and May here over the next few days.